I had a lot of people uh, send me messages they want to know how to uh, change the parameters on the uh, welding robot. We titled this, How to Change Welding Parameters on a Robot. We're using a FANUC, so uh, hopefully you have a FANUC. If you have a Monoman or a Panasonic, it's, it's something similar. It just depends on what it is on the teach plate. You just got to find it. Uh, when you program it, you're going to have an arc start. This is a point. It's not going to be point one. Just, you don't start in the arc at the point one, but I just put one because that's the only point I put it down. It's going to say arc start, and then you're going to have a uh, number in parentheses after that. And the number in parentheses after the arc start is the when you go to the data button, because that's how you, where you would go to change your parameters, there's going to be one, two, three, four, blah, 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 all the way down. So this two would be going on right here. It would mean this is the set of parameters that you're using. Some people will take it, and they'll take each number, and they'll have, and I just wrote down the thickness here, so like eighth inch, quarter inch, five eighths, three quarters, they'll have parameters for those thicknesses of materials. So then all you got to do is change this for whatever thickness you're using. Not everybody does that. Some people do it for a part. Um, if you're um, building that table, for instance, and you had the parameters of two labeled table. So if you were producing that table, you would go to two. Same thing. Same thing as the thickness. Um, there's three uh, numbers under there. There's a wire feed speed, a trim, and a travel speed. So let's go back here. Arc start. You want to change your wire feed or whatever. You're going to go to the data button. Something like this is going to pop up. You're looking at two, your, your parameters are going to be in two. First number, wire feed, second number, trim, third number, travel speed. Wire feed is in inches per minute. That's just like a regular MIG, uh, MIG welder. So you just turn it up or turn it down, whatever you're doing. Trim is a voltage, that's your voltage. And again, up and down, same thing. It's a lot smaller of a number. It's uh, usually one to five, somewhere in there. Uh, then your travel speed, that's in inches per minute, how fast the thing's going to move. Uh, when you enter that stuff, you have to hit the enter button afterwards. A lot of people think you can use the arrow keys and just move to the next one. It, it won't register unless you hit that enter button, so don't forget to do that. So we're going to go out there and program the robot to a little, I don't know, stringer bead. Uh, and then we'll uh, adjust this stuff on the teach button to show you how to do it and uh, move on from there. So we'll get out in the lab and program this robot here. This is the original parameters we had here. 
We haven't looked them up yet, but obviously this was for something a lot thinner. We actually just threw a piece of half inch thick A36 um, steel up there. So you can tell, clearly isn't hot enough. So what we'll do here is show you how to change the uh, weld parameters now. The first thing we're looking here is the program. Obviously it's a simple program. Um, we're going to look down at the arc start there. Point number four. If you look at the parentheses after the arc start, right here, see that one in there? That means you're on the weld schedule one. Now, in order to get to the parameters, let's see if I can scroll down here, the weld parameters, we're going to go here to data, push that, see everything changed up the top there. Those are your welding parameters. And you can see under one, it's 250, 2.0, and 35 inches a minute. So that 35 inches a minute means you're hauling. So we're going to change that 250 to 400. And you just type that in. And then you have to hit, let me scroll down here. You have to hit enter in order for it to take that. You can't just arrow over. So we hit enter and it'll go back up here. And you'll see we're now at 400 inches a minute. Now we're just using the arrow key to move over. So by arrow key, let's go back down right here. Arrow key. I'm going to push that. It goes to 2.0. That is trim. That's your voltage. So we're going to increase that because we increased our uh, wire feed to 3.5, we'll say. And again, to do that, you go down here. 3.5. And again, you have to hit enter. Go back up. There it is. Inches per minute. I'm going to arrow over to, to that. And we're going to go ahead and lower that down to 20. I just typed it in. Now I'm hitting enter. And then it saves it. So we have just switched our wire feed, our voltage, and our, our travel speed that quickly. In order to get back to the um, regular screen of the program, we're going to go down here and hit edit. Edit pops it back to the program. You want to go back to the welding stuff, the parameters, data, edit back. Alright. And all it's doing is adjusting in the, inside these uh, parentheses the number one weld schedule. So now we're going to, I'll back up again, we'll run it one more time and we'll look at the difference in the beat. This is the weld after changing the wire feed, the voltage, and the, um, or the, or the trim, whatever you want to call it, and the travel speed. And you can see it's a little bit better, but it's still not quite there. It needs to be wider. Our travel speed seems to be still way too fast. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll pull the teach button back out again. We'll just increase, or, uh, not increase, lower the uh, travel speed and uh, do it one more time and then we'll call it a day. So we'll grab the teach pen in here and lower the uh, travel speed. Here we are once again looking at the teach pen in. So I can scroll down a little bit and get those. There we go. So we're back. There's your program. We're going to hit data again. 400, 3.5, 20 inches per minute. I'm going to arrow over here to the 20 inches per minute. I think our travel speed is just jacked up. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put that at 8. And you enter again. So now we're at 8. We've lowered it way down. 
So now let's go ahead and we're going to hit the edit button. It's going to take us back to our program. And we're going to burn that baby in one more time. And hopefully it looks all right. It doesn't really matter. We're just trying to show you how to adjust your welding parameters here. So we'll burn it in one more time, take a look at that, and we'll call it a day. One more time. Here we go. There you have it. We uh, lowered the travel speed down a little bit. You can see it's wider. Uh, this material could have been cleaner. You see all them silicone puddles and things like that. We could have, you know, ground it off better. But for what we were trying to do, we we're trying to show you how to actually change the parameters. I think we did all right. I think. Um, Next, we're going to do another robot video here coming up shortly on. We're going to mess with some weaves, show you how to put some weaves in, and uh, maybe throw, show you how to do some dwells on the right side versus the left side, things like that. But for what we're doing here, the welding procedures, the parameters, I guess, um, we're going to wrap things up. So thanks for watching. Subscribe to TV Weld.